Hi, this is Melanie. I'm here with Zero of Zealotris. He's going to tell us about five definitive political punk bands. Yeah, all right. So, uh, you know, I, uh, <laughs> I, I hesitate to be an authority on anything, uh, but, you know, I, there are five that stand out to me that if you're looking for a political punk, uh, you'd, you'd be missing out if you didn't give them a shot. So, uh, number five, I'm going with Propagandi. Uh, from Canada, uh, like 30 year career, been around forever, and they've got this amazing just uh, kind of blend of uh, you know fast, hard, technical, punk, uh, almost kind of bordering on metal. Awesome. All right. Uh, number four, I've got uh, War on Women from Baltimore. Been active like the last five or six years. Mm -hmm. um, fantastic like a feminist hardcore punk band uh, again lots of really technical guitar stuff um, heavy uh, just really awesome the, the lyrics are always on point too um, next uh, what are we at number three, number three. Our, our, our very good friends the Muslims out of Durham North Carolina um, I think uh, they're kind of unique in this list and, you know, in, in punk, uh, in the punk scene, you know, it's, it's needed to be less, uh, you know, less white, white guy bands. Oh, okay. More to stand out somehow. You know, have <laughs> and, um, you know, uh, like the Muslims bring so many more, um, just different influences okay. to what they're doing yeah. th than like what you hear uh, generally. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, they're fantastic. Everything they do, I just love. Um, we, we're always honored anytime we get to play, uh, you know, share a stage with them. Yeah. Uh, number two, going Dead Kennedys. Uh, I don't think you can talk political punk without them being in the conversation. Um, you know, classic, just hardcore punk from kind of when that all started. Yeah. Um, I think if you're going to hit one of those hardcore punk bands from, from the 80s especially, uh, I would go with them. Okay. And number uh, one. Yeah, <laughs> my number one, at, I think anybody who follows us probably knows this, but Anti-Flag. Uh, they, they're the biggest influence for what we do with Zealotris. Um, they're, they were the first political punk band that I was aware of as a teenager. Okay. Uh, I saw them at Warp Tour, uh, fell in love with it, and uh, yeah, uh, they, they are a huge influence for me, I think. You know, they've been around for, uh, I think, about 30 years. Yeah. Uh, and you know every album they've done is just awesome uh, they they cover so many topics I mean especially across that uh, across such a long career yeah um, and you know they they blend their styles really nicely uh, you know they they've got a lot of pop punk sensibilities catchy choruses but you know lots of hardcore kind of yeah um, something so, for everyone yeah and just so much passion they're such professionals. Uh, I've seen them play so many times and uh, actually just uh, in November got to meet uh, Justin oh. after uh, after their show at Cat's Cradle. That's great. Um, which was, <laughs> I, I was like kind of emotional about it um, and you know got to tell him about our band and yeah. that they're the reason that we exist. So yeah that was awesome. They're my number one easy. Great. Yeah. And you have some shout outs? <laughs> yeah, um, there were of course, you know, again, like, you know, I honorable mentions. I, I, there, there, a lot of punk happened before I was even born. Yes. So, you know, obviously, like, I can't be like the authority, or probably even an authority on punk, or you know, definitive bands in a genre. Yes. But um, you know, there, there are tons of bands, uh, you know, obvious ones like. The Clash or Good Riddance um, or you know whoever else Strike Anywhere um, that are you know obviously could have been in the list. Yeah. Um, 
and then there are also tons of bands, just like more modern bands, yeah. you know, uh, in the last few years or the last decade or so, on the rise. Um, you know, uh, some that stand out to me that I've been listening to a ton the last, I don't know, year or so, um, got out over in the UK, uh, there's The Regent, uh, The Human Project, Fair Dues, um, all just just awesome, like, just driving, like, passionate, mm -hmm. political punk, um, you know, great instrumental work, uh, I just uh, love everything that they put out. Um, in the U.S., a uh, couple that I wanted to mention, uh, I got Apathy Cycle, um, I th they may only have, I, I can't remember how many albums they've got out, but they're, they're just all great, um, and, uh, you know, I hope, I hope they, uh, you know, come around North Carolina, yeah. so I can see them, or maybe we could even play with them. Yeah, uh, and uh, maybe we'll see this. <laughs> we'll we'll, we'll tag dangerous? them. <laughs> um, and man, I'm blanking on the the other one that I wanted to pull up. And um, also, the Stifled uh, out of Pennsylvania are um, a band. I came across them kind of right when we were starting up. So just mm -hmm. over the past few years, um, awesome, just like driving, angry, political stuff, um, got a little bit of that like metal punk kind of feel, like um, I, I love punk where when you're listening to it you can tell that they listen to metal, Yeah. <laughs> but even though they're playing punk, like you, yeah. can, you can hear, Heavily you know, like the influence yeah. and that, the like, yeah, yeah. Um, speed and just that heavy stuff, mm -hmm. so. Um, and uh, one other that, uh, out of the UK that I forgot. Uh, was uh, Bob Villain, um, great name, but yeah, uh, yeah great, uh, great stuff. Um, just uh, again, like um, you know, with, like the political stuff, uh, so much social commentary uh, yeah. in, in the songs. Uh, I, I've loved everything I've heard out of okay. them, and they're they're relatively new, just the last few years. Yeah. So yeah. And you, Zelatris has been around since. Zelatris, we started. I I wrote. All of our first round of songs in 2018. Okay. Uh, we put the band together at the beginning of 2019. Okay. And then <laughs> put out our, our debut EP right before the pandemic. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, didn't get to play very many shows for uh, a while there. But, but they're back. amazing. If you're in North Carolina, <laughs> catch a Zelter show. Um, and Thank I will you. link their socials below after this video. Anything else you want to add? No, thanks for having That's us. That's it. I'm excited. All right. Thanks. <laughs>